Hey everyone, Bridget here for a CEO update and I am just happy to see the sun shining and you know the weather warming up a little bit. I know the forecast has some snow still in the schedule but I'm not even thinking about it. I'm going to manifest you know that warm weather and that sunlight on my face and um, just keep thinking happy thoughts about warmer weather coming. So that's how I'm starting this update this week. Um, I hope everyone's having a great week and um, yeah let's get into this. Um, so if you watched the council meeting or attended on this past Wednesday, I discussed uh, a building improvement project that we've been working on since probably um, September of 2021. Just so just briefly after, after I started, um, we put together a plan with some COVID funding that was, you know, strictly used for building improvements. And, you know, it's just great to finally see this come to fruition. And um, I just commend the hard work of our public works team, Arlen Friswell and Bruce LaPointe and Robbie Mayo there, just really, you know, looking at each of our tribal buildings and um, digging in there, doing assessments, working with the directors on what needs to be improved and being diligent in each step of the way. So finally, you know, we finally have a list and a task list of what needs to be done here and we're going to start putting together RFPs and get some bids going and hopefully start these projects um, sooner than later. Um, for the planning of this, we found that we are going to fix or improve a total of four roofs in our, build in our buildings, um, replace over 70 windows, and replace an estimated 30 doors. So again, um, just, you know, some improvements to our buildings that can ha that have, you know, their long lasting buildings, thank God, but um, they all can use a little bit of improvement here and there. And again, just excited to see that coming coming along. Um, we did have a bigger assessment by Johnson Controls out of Marquette and the surrounding area come in and do an assessment of our bigger units like our air conditioning, our heating units, um, air purifiers, um, things like that. So those are coming up as well and um, should be on the task list sooner than later as well. So, you know, talking about the warmer weather and this just means more time outside, more events happening, people want to get out people don't want to be in the house and you know what our community is 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 bringing it we have so many events coming up um not even just you know the end of this month and rolling into may there's just there's tons of stuff going on i'm just going to touch on a few things here um if you haven't seen you know the postings forum um this is just a quick review of the for the next week or so. Um, the youth have put out um, some flyers about their self-defense and jujitsu classes coming up. I know they have a great registration um, count for that, um, as well as the junior golf program that's going to start after school ends. Um, so if you need more information on that, please call the youth office or contact John Hebert, our youth director. Um, as far as events, the second annual water walk is coming up next Wednesday that begins um, at 10.30. So May 3rd, 10.30 is the second annual water walk and that will begin um, on the trail, the walking trail behind the police station. So um, if you need more information on that, contact Terry Swartz. Um, she'll, she'll be able to hook you up. Um, also next week, May 3rd and 4th, um, there will be a ribbon skirt um, project for MMIW and this will take place at the community library. Um, so two nights of ribbon skirt making and the focus will be on um, MMIW, so thinking red and black skirts, um, but it should be a fun time. And just to follow up on MMIW, um, the actual MMIW day is Friday, May 5th. And if you're not into skirts, we do have t-shirts for sale um, here at the Tribal Center for $10 each. Um, I think those shirts do go up to 3 or 4XL, but come on up to Tribal Center, purchase a shirt, and, um, you know, celebrate that day. Um, if you're looking to get involved in, you know, the happenings of our tribe here, we do have a couple committees that have some open seats. The Youth Committee has three open seats, and the Health Board has one. Um, there is an application process for that, so... Um, come on up to the Tribal Center or find the ad on Facebook here. Um, but I believe it closes May 5th and you need to apply to Patrick Brissett, the Tribal Council Secretary for that, or Administrative Assistant, sorry, Patrick. 
Um, and then just to close, this is your, you know, your reminder that if you want to keep up on all the events happening for KBIC, um, want to know what's going on, the most up-to-date news, the most up-to-date information is always on the official Facebook, Huna Bay Indian Community. So remember to like and follow that and um, you won't miss a thing. All right, that's all I have for this week.